I'm very grateful to the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts for selecting me for the 2016 Distinguished Alumni Award. It means a lot to me to receive such an honor from a school that helped me build the foundations of my artistic practice. I first heard of the Pennsylvania Academy when my painting teacher at Swarthmore College brought a class to see PAFAS faculty show, which was on view in this building. So it's like coming full circle. Seeing Sidney Goodman's nude on a red table in that show was one of my earliest memories of being completely bowled over by a painting. It will be a few more years before I'll decide to study art. So it will be a few more years after that initial visit before I'll make the decision to pursue art. But when I did make that decision, PAFA was the only school I applied to. Because I was so, that show just had left an indelible mark in my head. So I applied only to PAFA because it was clear from that show that the faculty were doing compelling work that simultaneously engaged with contemporary and traditional painting practices. I had been making traditional Western portraits but wanted to improve my ability to render the figure and at the same time I wanted to develop a way to bring my personal knowledge, interests and biography into my work and thereby contemporary discourse so Parfa just seemed like the perfect fit for me. Happily, my assumptions were correct. My interactions with faculty and fellow students helped me develop the nuanced practice I had always envisioned. I initially came to PAFA for a one-year post-baccalaureate program, and I ended up spending four years at the academy. I enrolled in the certificate program after my post-bac year. It wasn't the conventional route, but I'm very grateful that I had the privilege of taking this path and spending all those years in this incredible institution. The critical and rigorous work ethic that was introduced to my practice in my post-baccalaureate year by my faculty, including Jan and uh, Michael, who are here today, undergirds my process. I still revisit seminal texts from classes I took with Kevin Richards, who I just saw right now. <laughs> Um, when I work in my studio, I do so with the voices of all my PAFA faculty in my head, helping me solve compositional painting and drawing problems. Thank you all very much. For example, I still lay down my paints following the contours of the form the way we learned to do in Scott Noel's class with Conte crayons. I've internalized Al Ghuri's lessons on the finer points of orchestrating dramatic space using value. I even find myself building up certain parts of my work in translucent layers, as we did in the painstaking cast drawing exercises in Oliver Grimley's class. The students I worked with at PAFA also hold a special place in my heart, as I learned a lot from them as well. My friend EJ, and this was in Ron Weifel's printmaking class, taught me about acetone transfer prints. And although it took me a while to incorporate that process into my work, it is now a very important feature in the majority of the paintings I make. Doron Langberg, my closest friend at PAFA, is someone I will always count in my circle of friends. We have grown together, as Doran and I have grown together as artists. We attended graduate school together, where we studied with Clint, so there are all these crazy connections. And we push and encourage each other. I am a better artist because of the friendship I made at PAFA, including with someone like Doran. Also incredible are the people behind the scene, the dean's office, the financial aid office, I was there a number of times, and the numerous staff members who work tirelessly behind the scene to really foster a nurturing environment at PAFA. It's very easy to be excited about coming to school and your studio every day when it feels like a family. I cherish the connections and friendships I forged here and the education I received. PAFA was instrumental in my progression towards making the kind of artwork that I aspire to make. And for that and this award, I am deeply grateful. Thank you.